All right, so I'm trying something different with my solar panels, my Blue 80. All these are not hooked up. Only actually have three of them hooked up because of the voltage. The uh, I got the AC Max, and it has a smaller limit to the voltage. So hooking up three panels in series. Uh, I got to check the amperage. I might try to do a parallel connection and maybe try to increase the amps. These are 350-watt panels, um, so I got to be careful with that. So now... This is what I'm doing here. This is a different line I got. So I'm running some solar cables through here. And I'm going to run it through this wall. I'm going to hook up these uh, solar cables here. You see, I used a screwdriver to snake it through the wall. Um, so I'm going to run these cables here. I'm going to do an input, an output. I'm doing an input so that I can, just in case I need to charge my Blue Eddy uh, through the grid and or like a generator uh, for emergency if it's a cloudy day um then i got uh, output to run uh things outside because i got my pool going from there and then i'm also going to have i got my solar cable so i can hook up my solar array all right i'll tell you how it goes in a minute hopefully i get this all cleaned up all right so i'm done with this little project as you see this is my 240 line. This doesn't have nothing to do with nothing. But this um, is the main cord. I can show you down here. I got them all in here. I restuffed it. Make sure you don't have any little critter friends coming in. This is the inside of my little mud room. Uh, you see, I got the solar all hooked up here. I got that going. I got this AC on for like the cloudy days. But as you see, I don't have it on right now. Uh, it's the end of the day. I only got 26 watts coming in, unfortunately. Uh, that's my array. I don't have the bottom two hooked up, but that's a thousand watts coming in. This actually top out at 700, this uh, Blue Eddy. Um, I'm powering up my Ryobi. This is my 40 volt. This little backup battery. So like if it's a power outage, um, I don't have the whole house hooked up yet, the sub panel. So I usually use this upstairs to power like the lights and everything. Then I got the blue eddy. Uh, this main cord is going out to my swimming pool uh, filter. These are my little chargers for all my tools. And uh, this black cord here is charging up that. As you see here, I got the uh, solar cords. I'm gonna eventually bury them. Um, and the AC cord, that's my panels. And this is my swimming pool. Um, it's been raining the past three days, so I don't have a pool cover, so I've got to get all that stuff cleared out. But you see, got the pump going. Let me walk around so you can kind of see how massive this pump is. So it's a nice size pump. Let's see it get going. All right. All right. Last little update. You see, it's about 5.07 p.m. We in the Chicagoland region. That sun is like directly west. Uh, the pump is taking 3.24, 3.44. So it's gonna start dissipating a little bit. It's only a couple of hours on the on the pump. So uh, left, so that should be fine. Um, <laughs> the DC is almost negligible. I just got a little camera hooked up. Uh, got these batteries hooked up, powering up these little laterns and these uh, little batteries. So they almost done. So, all right.